guys and welcome back to the channel. So we last left you off where we installed our kitchen island and got it secure and in its permanent location and I'll tell you what guys, I cannot imagine my kitchen without that island in there. So definitely was a very good investment and I'm glad I kind of pondered on it a little while but I'm glad I pulled the trigger on it and installed that island. But today guys, um, I say this right now and now of course now there's some thunder going on but it's not really supposed to rain today and I do have some stuff I want to take care of in the garden as I do want to plant, uh, plant a fall garden and I've actually kind of already got some of it going and planting and actually growing so I'm gonna give you guys a few little updates. You guys know um, we did have kind of a heat wave come through here last week and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I kind of neglected my garden over the last couple weeks because it's just been so hot and we've been kind of doing some other things and then Anthony's back and uh, just didn't really feel like coming out here so I just kind of let the garden go um, I have mentioned before that um, I think my zucchinis and like my cucumbers and stuff were kind of coming up on the end of their production because they weren't really producing a whole lot um, but they are just gone <laughs> they're pretty wilted and brown um, they do have some uh, cucumbers still growing on them they're very big um, I am not gonna use those for anything if anything they're gonna be some more chicken food but I think it's time that my cucumbers go so the good news with this garden bed even though my cucumbers are just non-existent anymore my eggplants however have really blossomed and like taken um, big strides and really have grown um, over the last couple weeks and I actually have gotten some eggplants that are growing on here right now I have three of them growing so I am not going to be ripping these out anytime soon I'm gonna let this one eggplant go and be and continue to grow and hopefully produce some more eggplants so my acorn squash here it's kind of doing all right some of the leaves are kind of wilted and have turned brown but I also think I did have a squash bug uh, infestation going on this so I have been spraying it down with neem oil but I'm finding that neem oil isn't working as well as the Dawn dish soap solution that I was making for my um, bug pest control so I think I'm gonna I don't know I might give the neem oil a little bit more to try but I mean it hasn't killed my plants I can however not say the same thing for my zucchini squash guys my zucchinis have taken a very severe beating with just the heat I did end up having a vine bore infestation so I lost a couple of my plants due to that and I just kind of let these go because as I mentioned um, oh I see actually I see one little zucchini that's still here. I guess it's still kind of producing. There's one zucchini right here. This is the last one I'm going to pick from my zucchini. So this is kind of a, a sad, bittersweet moment. The next little update I'm gonna give you guys here is my cabbage. <laughs> my cabbage is just, it's, I don't even know what it's doing. It's not doing anything. It's totally wilted away, um, gotten just burnt and kind of molded and just decomposing. It's breaking down. Um, these were a no-go. Um, I did plant them, I think at the wrong time. I know uh, cabbage is kind of a cooler weather crop, so I'm sure the summer heat just really, really toasted it and fried it, so. But that's okay those are gonna get ripped out and I think I'm going to be replacing those and planting some more cabbage for my fall garden so about three weeks ago I came through and emptied out my garden bed here that I had my my peas were growing here I had carrots and onions growing in this one and I did end up ripping it out and tilling up the dirt and putting some fertilizer in there and planting some pumpkins and guys look my pumpkins are growing they're getting very very big um, no flowers yet on them but that's okay um i think if i planned it right and i got them in the ground and they're growing as well as they're growing i think i will have some pumpkins for halloween which is really exciting i tried to do that last year and it just didn't work out so hopefully um a new th new crop i'm going to be growing so the last little bit of an update and probably the saddest update i'm going to give you guys is my cantaloupe and my watermelon patch here um, 
I let this go. I I take full responsibilities for what is going on in here. The I, some cantaloupe had broke down. I did get an ant infestation, and they were digging holes inside my cantaloupe and eating them. Um, the summer heat just fried them. I wasn't coming out here in the last month or so watering like I should, but that's okay. I did get quite a few cantaloupe and quite a few watermelons off of these. Um, we were eating them as little snacks and stuff. I took some with us when we went camping. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I did get what I wanted off of them and I did not let my watermelons get too big. So the, they tasted awesome. The cantaloupes were delicious. I just wish I didn't get the ant infestation problem. I did try the neem oil on those, but I don't think it works too well against ants. And they ended up terrorizing my cantaloupe. I don't know why, just my cantaloupe, not my watermelons, but that's okay. I did get a few before, like I said, before it totally, <laughs> before I totally lost it. Well guys, it is really starting to pour right now, so I guess I'm going to be taking a break from this garden and getting back inside quick before the rain really, really hits. No! <laughs> well, this is totally unexpected. Now it's pouring. The rain didn't stick around very long. Um, it poured for like a whopping minute. <laughs> Made everything nice and wet and just warm enough and caused a little bit of humidity that it might be a little rough working out here now, but that's okay. I'm not gonna let that stop me. So I am back out here again, guys, and I'm actually going to be starting the work now. Um, I think my garden is ready for a change. It's kind of depressing looking out here. Um, kind of, I don't even really wanna come out here a lot and like look at the garden, cause I'm just like, oh. <laughs> so I'm ready to plant some new stuff and get some new growth out here and have more green and more beautiful beautiness out here. So I say, let's get started. Kind of a bittersweet feeling ripping all of this stuff out and like knowing the time it took to grow and how much I got off of it. Um, I have, this is kind of where I don't really mind ripping it out because I gr grew so many cucumbers this year guys. I still have quite a few left in my refrigerator right now that I need to do something with here really soon. Um, I do have plans to be making some more pickles and stuff like that but I can't complain. It produced, it did more than I expected, so um, it's kind of a good ending for it, I guess. See, this one definitely was a vine borer that attacked it and killed it. They're probably in there. It'll be a nice treat for the chickens. Here it is, guys. My last zucchini of the season. Well, bittersweet. But just like my cucumbers, guys, my zucchini outdid itself with my production. And I ended up getting a lot of zucchinis to preserve and um, I ended up freezing a lot of them. Um, I made 
uh, tons of zucchini breads, uh, zucchini cookies, um, and I still have some in the fridge, so very pleased with my zucchini this year. Look who's come to join the cleanup party. <laughs> Anthony's cleaning up all this mess right here because um, I've been throwing like my rocks and stuff that I pick out of the garden. I've been throwing them right here and like the you know roots and whatever I find in the garden. I've been throwing it over here, throwing it on the other side, throwing it in the garden. So Anthony's going to pick up the mess well, right here. These, these boards have literally been here since we started working on Thunderdome. Yeah. And when we had the sawmill right here. Yeah, some of here. the some of those Two boards. Years. Yeah. Just never picked them up. And I think a couple of those boards we used to kind of like do like a rough measurement on our greenhouse because last year guys, if you remember, we were going to put our greenhouse right here, but then we decided to change our minds, which is going to happen, you know, here and there because we have other plans we want to do with the greenhouse because we're actually extending the garden out and stuff. So that's another reason why he's kind of cleaning up some of this mess because my garden's going to go out more that way. So better do it now than wait, I guess, right? Do what? I said you're cleaning this up because we're going to ex expand a little bit more this way. Well, that, yeah, and like I can't mow any of this and... Yeah, that tr that's true too. It's just, you know, it's just rubble here that needs to be picked up. Yeah, yep, so he's getting it over there, guys. Slowly over the years, two years been picking them up. They've been, they've been coming from the garden. Oh, I know. <laughs> You've been throwing them over here. Yeah, it's my stash. Yeah. <laughs> One but of I them. I can't mow it because these big giant rocks you throw over here and stuff too. Yeah. It will mess up the mower. Yeah, I know. So. I mean, here's a pile, guys, around this tree. So this is one of the biggest piles. Yeah, this is where I first started throwing stuff. Yeah. And then I've kind of moved all around. So just trying to get some of this stuff up real quick. Yep. And what's nice is that we have that big clearing where the power lines are at. We own that property. It's just easement. They have to get to it. So I can dump all kinds of stuff like this over there and it's no big deal. It's out of the way <laughs> and it's not over here and we own the property so they can't do nothing about it. So we have our own little dumping area for twigs and rocks and sticks and stuff. Leaves. Leaves. Four tomato plants. The ones that were hanging out by the zucchini. The random ones. And there was still stuff on it too. Look at that. But you got bigger plans for this bed, don't you, babe? Oh yes, yeah. I do. So she's getting it all ready, guys. Yep. I'm sure the chickens are happy about all this food they're getting. Oh yes, I am. Um, I don't know if they're eating it, but I threw a bunch in there for them a little bit ago, so. 
the weather took a turn for the worst guys and it actually started pouring so it kind of forced me to stop working out here in the garden area I did get done pretty much everything I wanted to get done oh there's some more thunder guys so hopefully it doesn't start raining and pouring again here but I did get my this garden bed I got my watermelon and cantaloupe garden bed cleared out I got my um, cucumbers ripped out and that garden bed all tilled up and I did actually go ahead and go through all my pumpkins over there and pick out the weeds that were in there and kind of turned up the dirt some more. I did not get a chance to get to my corn field there. I did pull all the corn out. I just haven't done anything with it because right when I was going to it started, it started pouring out here and forced me to stop. Hopefully it's gonna stop raining today and not really rain tomorrow so I can get my seeds planted into the ground. But I do have something I wanna get done inside the house. So I guess now is as good as time as any to get that done. <laughs> Since it's raining outside, I guess this is a perfect opportunity to really complete my kitchen island. Yes, it is in place and installed, but there is just one more thing that I would like to add to really finish this and really help with my cooking and my prepping. As you guys can see, I have this like bag, tin foil, plastic organizer thing. It keeps everything um, in a good spot and it's easy accessible. The cutter thing works very nicely. Um, I am missing some of the bags, but that's okay. But I think this is a perfect addition to the kitchen island, guys. All right, guys, got that all hooked up for Roxanne right here. She's loving it. She's loving it. She didn't get as much done in the garden as she wanted to do today, from what you were telling me. Yeah, no. The rain just was playing tricks on me today. Yeah, every time she went outside, it rained. She come back inside, it stopped. Outside, it rained. Inside, it stopped. So, <laughs> that I, happens sometimes. Yeah, I even worked through the rain a little bit today. I did. But that's all right. Yeah. We got a lot done today. I was pretty much off camera for the most part today, guys. I was just doing my own thing, fixing different things, and cleaning up and doing things while she was getting down. Yeah with her green thumb in the garden so <laughs> but this island came out amazing guys everything oh, yes. is completely done i'm super happy with it I'm ready to move on to the next project this one was a big one we were trying to get done real quick so yeah. we got it done yeah well roxanne sure has been putting that new island to good use guys but today she's been inside the house almost all day she said she really wanted to rearrange the kitchen now that we have the island in there move all her different things where they're supposed to go. And that way it's a fully functional kitchen and it's not more of like, where is this, where is that, at kind of a thing. And so I wanted to show you what she's done because she's done an amazing job, guys. Check this out. She's been over here working in the kitchen, doing her thing. Yeah. What do we got today? Oh, well, we're having spaghetti tonight for dinner. Oh, spaghetti. Yeah, and I'm making actually <laughs> some homemade French bread. So, yeah, yeah got it going on today getting it going on <laughs> yeah she's putting the island to use guys yep. look everything's been doing good and there are some newest things that you've been doing here too yes <laughs> so i can say that i think i've got everything in its permanent spot so we did go out to the tent this morning and dug out some of my kitchen stuff and we got my canisters out for my flour and my sugar so that's a huge uh, improvement in this house for me. No more five gallon buckets? Yeah, no more going out to the laundry room all the time. <laughs> no more five gallon buckets. <laughs> yeah. We had our bread box here, so we moved that back over to that side, which is originally where I wanted it to be to begin with. Yeah, so it's you have a lot more space, even just that, the microwave not there no more. Yeah, yeah. And Anthony put in this fancy <laughs> shelf up above here for now uh, to put the microwave just to kind of get it off the counter because I do want uh, above uh, the above <laughs> stove 
microwave. Yeah. But just for right now, we're it's not a huge rush. It's not high on the priority list of things to buy. So we're just dealing with our microwave that we've had since we've moved here. And we look, it, it came out really good, guys. Yeah, it's it's it works out perfect, and it's it's kind of like having an above the stove microwave. Kind of. Kind of. I think that microwave's a little small personally but it works it works we don't use the microwave a whole whole bunch guys, no in all reality and for what we do use it with it works just fine yeah it's perfect i think yeah it's perfect and here's another really cool thing guys you guys have not seen yet look what i put on the island <laughs> roxy homemaker because that's her right there yeah <laughs> even though this technically guys this is temporary yeah <laughs> I do this saying, well, I don't know how long it's going to be there. Yeah, how long temporary is going to be. But, but I mean, look yep. at it. I used an old piece of butcher block, guys. Yep. The this leftover. I didn't throw any of those scraps away. Yeah, this was used. from the sink. Yep. Yeah, this is the sink cutout. Sink cutout. Um, just use some L brackets. It's very, 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 very sturdy in there. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's really nice. So, yeah. And your island. Yep, so everything's working out. Yeah. So nice. Yep, so my island here, you guys have seen it, but I did put my appliances in here. Yep. And I've decided that most of the appliances that I use most often, I'm gonna put in my island. That way they're all right here, so I can just easily grab them. So I have my KitchenAid mixer. I will put my Instapot down there when it's not in use. I got the air fryer down there. I got all my KitchenAid attachments in there. I got my vacuum sealer in there so of the go-to yeah the go i didn't even see do you put anything on the shelf oh you did yeah yeah I, it really guys? yep it really frees up a lot of space for the <laughs> other cabinets a lot of space yeah so <laughs> actually um, i ended up like moving a lot of the stuff around in the other cabinets as well yeah yeah so i mean i'm very happy and pleased with it in your drawers you've been putting this to you yep too. yep so i decided to put all my cooking utensils in this one so it's right here for me to grab yeah. That's my thought process. Well, this is the prep station, and I yeah. see that you put some cabinet liners in. Yes! So, yeah. one of yeah, <laughs> one of you awesome subscribers sent these to us right after we finished the kitchen. So, like three months ago. And I was kind of holding off until we got the island. So, when I moved everything to its permanent spot, I could finally do that. And I did. I got this drawer done. I got all the cabinets up here done. Yeah. Yeah, it looks it's really, awesome. Yeah, it looks really nice. So, thank you so much for sending us these. I'm putting them to good use right now. <laughs> Everything out here looks amazing. Yeah, it's it's perfect. I, I Way better than I pictured it in the end. Yep. yep. All right, we'll throw this out there right now because I know somebody's going to say something. I'm still missing that trim piece up there. Yeah. But I will fix that eventually. Yeah, it's on our it's I promise on our list. you. I promise you that <laughs> trim piece right there is going to get put in there. Yeah. It'll it get will fixed. happen. <laughs> it will. <laughs> Sooner than later. Yes, yeah. but uh, I'm loving this kitchen. Yeah, me too. It's nice. It's a nice flow, guys. It's big. Believe it or not, it's big. Yeah. Like, I think it, this is, like, counter space-wise, this is almost the same now with this island. Counter space as in Las Vegas, I think. Yeah. I think maybe just a tinier. Maybe. maybe even if the same. I'm not sure, guys. Yeah, well, um... No, I, it be the same, if not maybe. She would know better than me. Yeah, a little bit more if you kept factor in the space that was taken up yeah. by other things. So. so, yeah. Coming out good, guys. Yeah, I love it. Love it. I, I think we did it. an amazing job in here. I do too. <laughs> but we have open house tonight, so we got to get going, guys. Yeah. So, just wanted to share this with you. I'm loving the kitchen. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I love it. Thanks for being here on this video, guys. We do appreciate every single one of you guys. Stay safe, stay motivated, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.